Before we go anywhere, I am going to go poke in this house to wash that bandage. Green screen artifact? Oh, I think you're I think you're seeing my mic. I forgot to put it back into place. Yeah, it's a green screen artifact, but Hey, Red Sloth, how's it going? Oh, and I'm going to go ahead and end the prediction because we definitely are not infected. So choose outcome, we not zombie. Awesome, so let's see. Uh, did they change that? Because the last build, we had saplings growing through the wood floor in multiplayer. Um, maybe in multiplayer it could be a bug. I know in single player it doesn't, doesn't cause problems. Now I've had weird stuff where if I put a wood floor down and there is a sapling there, that sometimes the sapling will stay there. I also have weird problems where every once in a while I put down a wood floor and I can't walk on it, like, of like a whole area, and there'll be like one spot of wood floor that I can't walk on. But you get the idea. I did like how, when you looked at the uh, distribution of points, so far as who bet, it wasn't entirely too far off of um, being in line with a 25% chance of things going grim, and 75% chance that we're going fine. So it does seem like people generally bet along, like, about what you'd expect the odds to be. Yep, it's 20 to 80, so it's like really not far off. Uh, yes, Burn and Son. We changed it to 100k, and then people have been cashing in to uh, increase the cost. This is an attempt to buy just three. Push-ups to make number one. The next time we have push-ups redeemed, I'll even up the number. Zandu. Next time we have like an actual push-up redemption, I'll I'll even it up. I've joked about a number of times making it a um a bit thing where you could uh There it is. I have joked about making it a bit thing where, for like, more bits. Alright, Burning Sun has one Twitch, cashing in those 140,000 raw stonks to declare himself winner. I am going to write that down because I have been noting all the people who do win Twitch. So that'd be the second person who has won Twitch in the channel. And if you'd prefer to have less people win Twitch, uh, the easy solution for it is you can cash in 5k raw stonks to, uh, to increase the price by 10k. <laughs> Rip in pieces, Twitch. Congratulations. Yep. And Vernon Sun is like immediately like, and now I raise the price. All right, so I'm going to increase the price, do these push-ups, and I'll be right back.
Uh, and Dr. Bubbles, basically we're planning on clearing out all of the major, the major cities is the plan. Um, so let's go in here and update. So I did the, that's not the number I just did. I did enough so that this will be bumping up a little bit extra to become a rounded number again. Um, I see that Moriarty has doubled the cost of this reward. Okay. So the starter port. No, I mean like all the major cities. So uh, we'll clear out Ekron. We'll clear out Riverside. We'll clear out um, West Point, Muldrow, uh, Marchridge, um, Rosewood. Uh, I'm going to consider the redacted in the bottom left corner. Uh, the Mall um, and Louisville are the plans. And then if I happen to go by someplace, I'm like, ah, I want to clear that out too. Like, the tr there's a couple trailer parks and that. We'll probably do those as well. Like, any any major populous area is going to get cleared. Uh, the prison as well. I'm just considering the prison part of Rosewood for my purposes. Yeah. Uh, Dying Brain said, was like, LV is going to be insane. Yes. I I am expecting it to be an absolute meat grinder. Uh, Dr. Rose is going, holy moly. Uh, and Zayn's like he's died every time he's tried this FYI. I mean, yes, we haven't we haven't succeeded. But at this point we are up to eleven months, twenty days. No, oh, we are at the point where we're not showing as any longer. Nope, it's not actually healed. And that laceration is the very first and only zombie injury we've taken this entire time. Yeah. The prison the prison clear my intention of how I'm going to approach it is just making an absolute ruckus outside until we stop seeing zombies coming out. You know, and just doing that from like all sides of the building just till nothing else comes out. And only then will we worry about trying to go inside. Um, I believe it has to actually do something. Um, Dr. Bo says, at that point, you might want to pull out the Maltovs, right, uh, for LV, right, or are you ballsy enough to slice everyone's hands? I, I don't do any type of burns, so I will be, I will be getting up close and personal with the zombies and going chippity-chop to their face. Um, especially as many zombies as you're talking and as big as LV is. Like... If I start a fire in LV, the entire city's going down. Yeah, absolutely, Xandor. That's kind of the same thing I am. Um, we've used guns. Uh, we're up to aim 5, reload 4, but we've killed maybe 1,000 zombies with guns, and that's it. Yeah, this is going to be a long run. Like, Ghost the Llama has a run he's doing that he's expecting to take uh, 10 in-game years for a million zombies. Um, we're likely going to be very, very similar progress as he gets. How at Short Blade 8 are you still crap, me, Lever?
Um, ten more days to the stream? That's, I mean, that might be doable. Uh, when you're on one hour days, realistically your day is between 20 and 30 minutes. Sometimes shorter, sometimes longer, but that's typically about what your day is, because you, you sleep and you fast forward and that kind of stuff. No, I need more. Like, that's the thing, when that meat cleaver took like three, four hits to kill him, like, my hunting knife takes two. I was just trying to sit there and go, okay, well, let's just lean in on short blades, get our short blades to 10. So the idea was like, okay, a meat cleaver actually does use stamina, and that of the knives, it could be one of the higher damaging ones. But then it's like, oh, this actually kind of sucks. Like, I've never been a big fan of the meat cleaver because of the stamina juice. It's just like even more of just like, oh, as, as we're gaining, um, As we're getting stats, it seems to be getting less beneficial. I'll try a little more. Yeah, now it's crap. Get this out of here. Get get out of here. Where are the rest of you? You get out of here too. Those are garbage. Because it's like, because basically the meat cleavers, the advantage they have is they actually have decent crit for a short blade. But it looks like if it crits, I one shot. If I don't crit, it could be up to like four plus shots, and that's without exertion or anything. It's like, all right, well, my knives are two to three shots right now. My hunting knives. So like, why would I use those? Oh, interesting. Right, and then Xandor, um... And then the meat cleavers have crit, right? That is my understanding, is the big advantage of the meat cleaver was that it's got a little bit of crit to it. Oh, interesting. So meat cleaver is actually good at taking down doors. Weird. Yeah, gotcha. So meat cleaver is just more crit. But yeah, even then it's like, I'd just use the hunting knives. It's like, brah, I don't like there's that there's that many corpses just lining the left side of the road like that. Did he, little Timmy's alarm is going off again. Yep, every time we roll by here, watch alarm going off. Uh, Rancid Ralph, there has been talk about them adding bows when they, um, 
make the animal update with like all that like we don't know for sure that's a thing like to be clear but there's been talk about it and my my whole comment was there needs to be significant downsides to bows if they are going to be something you can silently kill zombies at range like you need to have very high aim skill for you to use them like they should cost a decent amount of stamina, stuff like that. Uh, let's see. Um, completely different type of traffic jam. Gross. <laughs> I was just playing catch up with what's being said, sorry. Honestly, if you need to forge to make arrows, just F that. Make o -p bows OP. I don't care, I ain't forging for that. Like, that'd be the thing. It's like, okay, that should be something that's, like, the consequences. You do have to, like, get the materials and all that. Because, for me, my concern with the bows and arrows is imagine you have, like, hordes of zombies, and you can just, at will, fire near-silent weapons to kill zombies at range. I'm like, okay, that changes the entire, entire way you play Project Zomboid. Just, you get your bow, and you start plunking away at hordes one by one. Maybe they see after a couple go down, but then you run away and you just get your bow again, you plunk away at them one by one. Unless they're like super tedious to get the arrows or something, or like they cost a bunch of stamina, or you know have really high requirement of aim to be even remotely meaningful. Like, Like, I personally don't feel there should be a safe slash easy way to engage zombies at range safely. Yeah. So I do imagine that. Like, I was also saying that maybe, like, you know, to meaningfully carry the arrows, you would want a quiver, not like a backpack or whatever. And then you could have the backpack or the quiver on at any time, not both. So you want to carry any meaningful number of arrows and reload at any kind of reasonable speed. You need to do that. Right, because I like the idea that you're going out hunting. You leave the backpack behind, you bring your quiver, you bring your bow, you bring your arrows and a couple like rations in your pockets kind of thing. And you're going out to hunt. Cool. Or you're going out to scavenge. But you just don't really have the means of doing both. Like, I mean, you could load stuff up in your truck, like that, that'd be fine. But still, you'd want to hunt a little while, switch your stuff out, collect stuff, switch your stuff out, that kind of thing. But like, I'd make it with a quiver, like, the reload time's okay-ish. But without the quiver, it's like, absolutely horrendous. Because, you know, to think your character would be like, fires the arrow, has to fish in their backpack looking for the other arrow through all the other crap in there. Get the arrow out, get it, you know, notched and all that. There's a quiver, you know, the arrows are all prepped, lined up, ready for you to go. I 
Uh, let's see. Uh, what if they just went all out and did the green arrow style with the throwing knives as well? What if they went all out and did it green arrow style with throwing knives? I mean, yeah. Xander, or there's two quivers, one that goes on your leg, low capacity, slow reloading, and one that goes in your back, super high arrow capacity, bonus to reloading. I can see something like that. Like the one in your leg would only have like two or three arrows or something like that, and that's it. But like, if you want to carry any reasonable amount of arrows, you need a proper quiver or a backpack. And like I said, if you put your arrows in a backpack, it just have an extremely severe reload speed penalty. Well, the idea with the bow and arrow is that you'd be able to make the bow and arrow. Like, it'd be a quote-unquote survivalist range weapon. And I'm okay with that. Uh, crossbows, like, so I mean, being genuinely, how many crossbows do you think are floating around in rural Kentucky compared to everything else? Like in 1993, like there would be non-zero number, of course. But compared to like all the rifles and guns and shotguns and machetes and all that, like even the katanas would be more common probably. I mean, I know people do hunt with crossbows, but, like, how often do you actually see stuff? I mean, I could be wrong. I may not be in the, uh, the in-crowd so far as knowing what the crossbow connoisseur is in the 1993 Kentucky. Let's see. The dev says they wanted to add an entire late medieval economy. They just had crossbows in the late medieval area. Yep. Now I gotcha. Um, as Elgoso said that. Uh, Corina says, or run combat modifier due to the bulky, unwieldy, like, you can use a quiver in a backpack, but it's heavy, impacting melee due to the stuff hanging on your body. Yeah, I can see that. Okay. I mean, like I said, I, I'm not on the in crowd with that. Like, where I've I've been with my, like, grandfather hunting and everything, like, it's super rare you see even a bow, let alone a crossbow. Everyone just wants to use their rifles. Yeah, no, that's the saying is, I would see the occasional person who would have, like, a cross, or not a crossbow, a compound bow, but. Uh, yes, they did change the product zomboid icon to, yep. Like, that was actually one of the things that, like, a whole bunch of people bring up. It's like, they should make it so we can make bows and all that. I'm like, okay, well, like, the bows you make should require a lot more strength to fire and all that, because it's not like some precision fit, like, compound bow or something. You're talking, you you made some line super taut on a, you know, effectively a bent stick. Obviously it's more than that, but like, the point being is, you wouldn't have a whole pulley system working to your advantage. You just have the, like, initial spring. You'd be dealing with, like, a very crude bow. 
Just like our, our um, spears are kind of crap in this game where it's just a stick that you sharpen the end of it. Yeah, let's see. For me, it's Spiffle with a bat now. Uh, let's see. In the Midwest, at least, I don't see what the con- I don't- I lost the context of that. Uh, Burn Sun says, In my experience, hunting with a bow, or in is hunting with se bow season being generally starts a few days before rifle season so they don't overlap. Uh, Moriarty says, If you're making your own bow, it's going to break after like two pulls, and then in order to for it to be worth anything, it's going to need to be like 30-40 pound draw. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Is it's probably going to be those things that when you go to use that bow, it's just going to be a stamina drain. And I'd make it so aiming the bow is what, what drains you, because like the idea is that's when your character is like drawing the arrow and everything. So if you start to draw the arrow and the, sh the shot's not where you want it, you know, kind of sucks. That's those things, is that if you aren't wearing leather gloves or equivalent, or like they could have like a bow glove or whatever, you have a risk of getting scratches. On your hands, and what you know, once you get a scratch in your hand, kind of thing, it hurts your ability to do anything. Like, that's the other thing I've talked about previously is like, okay, so you. You know, let's say you can make your own arrows. Alright, they're not going to be like some precision machine-made arrows that are turned to be perfectly balanced. They're going to be, you know, kind of carved arrows, which... Okay, sure enough, you can put a good point on them, like, with a chip stone or whatever. But they're not going to be the best arrows. I think we finally reached that point that we're actually starting to thin the zombies out in Rosewood, because, like, we're not seeing nearly as many in this whole area kind of deal. We're not dealing with the endless swarms anymore, just the occasional hordes here and there. Uh, don't walk away. He's like, that man had a wonderful hat. How many real life days did it take me to clear out Riverside? I, I don't know. Like, those are the questions that I don't really just have the notes, like, of, oh yeah, I took down this many days or this many in game hours. Like, I don't, I don't know off the top of my head. Like, I wasn't keeping records or stats or anything like that.
Alexander says, I'm a bit sad they didn't finally fix the movement speed modifiers from clothing. Uh, in what way? Sorry. Like, you know, some clothing has, like, a combat speed modifier, run speed modifier, that kind of stuff. Oh, so those penalties and bonuses don't mean anything on clothing? Like, it says it, but it doesn't actually work? Oh, only the combat modifiers work. Yeah, I think the run speed modifier should be set up to work then. Because I like the idea that there are, you know, certain clothes that are just... Alright, this may not be the best protection clothes. But, you know, there's still a con... Like, there's a reason you wouldn't want one over the other. Let's see if this thing's healed yet. Get off my body. Oh, zombie corpse is disappearing next to me. Bye, zombie corpses. Uh, the maintenance skill should be at 8. Yes, yeah, we're at 8 and some change. We're getting real close to 9 strength, or whatever, 8 strength. All right, and we're drowsy, and all the zombies are balling up. With bubbles of like, damn, what is going down at Jenny's table, which is the restaurant all the zombies just poured out of? I mean, happy hour. Saturday happy hour? Come on. They know what's up. Are we doing enough food? We have food. Are you doing a water? Not amazing, but not the worst. Alright, kill the ones following us.
Brandon Ralph says, Tamagotchi with the kids meal. Very big in the 90s. Oh, yeah. I remember Tamagotchi. All right. I've been avoiding this place this whole time. I want the strategy if I run really fast and there's trouble, I'll, I'll just deal with it. Oh yeah, and this is totally out of water. That's fine. Yeah, Tamagotchi's would be a cool junk item to add. I, I don't disagree. And so I was like, I like that they added crosswords and word search books. I didn't notice I didn't notice that they did that. I never really pay attention to most of the books. I'm assuming those are just for like entertainment kind of stuff. Ogo said, I thought I'd find vehicles with gas where I was going, but they only had rascal scooters. Yep. Same stats as magazine. That checks out. That's cool. I like that. Because, yeah, I know crossword, like, getting a crossword magazine was a big thing in the 90s for something to do and, like, you had to go places or whatever. Because, um, like, you could play, like, Game Boy during the day, but the moment you got to, like, where the light was kind of crap, 